Hey guys, it's uh, Sean here with the uh, XMark channel. So um, I haven't put any videos out in uh, quite a while uh, for us being up in Northern Ontario, especially where we're located, Cochrane Timmins area. Uh, it is sled season. Come December, all the way to the end of March. Uh, most times we just get way too much snow to be able to head out there and go riding. So the wheelers parked, uh, probably will be till at least the end of March before uh, you know the snow melts enough for us to get out there. So I haven't put a lot of videos out. Uh, you know, I put some old content out, some of the stuff that I shot previously that I thought was kind of interesting, but I didn't want to give you guys any filler or any videos, you know, 20 minute video watching me doing trail riding. It's not something I'm into. But today I got my hands on a couple of wenches and uh, I want to do an update video for you guys because I've always had some issues with worn wenches or a lot of our group has had issues with worn wenches. And I got two of them here and I wanted to take them apart and show you guys what we're talking about with some of these worn Pro Vantage wench failures. Um, so I thought, since I had these on here, I would do a video and uh, walk you guys through taking them apart, see how the seals are, and uh, you know we'll do a little service on them as well. So the wench here that I have in my hand without the label is the uh, 3,000 pound Can-Am worn uh, wench that would come on uh, you know any of your XMR bikes. Um, this happens to be mine. Uh, I'm having either, you know, I'm either having some gearbox issues or the motor's just, you know, wearing out. Um, but it's definitely not pulling like it should have. And what I actually did is went ahead and I bought a uh, Warren Pro Vantage 3500, which is in my 800 XMR right now. This happens to be a 3500 Pro Vantage S, which uh, came off uh, a fellow team member's bike. Uh, it's broke. So we're going to take it apart, show you guys what actually broke on it. Um, so uh, stick with me here. Uh, we'll start taking these apart and, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what's up with it. All right, guys. Um, so before I get to taking this apart, I actually wanted to show you guys something here. Um, a lot of people, when the wenches fail, uh, a lot of us want to run out and buy, you know, a complete boxed assembly. You know, it's about, uh, in Warren's case, like six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, super wench is a little bit cheaper. But really, you already got your contactor, you've already got your switch, you've got your wiring, everything's in place, you just need the wench. So when I got in this particular case, and, and this scenario happened where I broke the wench, what I decided to do was go out and just get a worn replacement wench. So what Warren will sell you is exactly what you're seeing here. It's just bare bones wench, no rope, no fair lead, contactor, none of that. But it's super cheap. For about 250 bucks, you can pick yourself up a 3,500 pound wench. Uh, which is a great deal. So what I'll do is I got the original box that actually came in. So I'll actually show you guys here the uh, part number and uh, maybe this will help some of you out. So um, part number here, let me uh, just get this in front of you guys here. So as you see part number is 89603. And as you can see, it's the um, Warren Winch PV3500 replacement. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. Uh, you know, you got a Can-Am or Polaris or, you know, whatever, whatever other bike that you have uh, and you just want to get a, a replacement wench instead of buying the whole box, maybe that'll help you guys out. So, uh, all right, so enough of that. I'll get to taking this apart and uh, show you guys what we're dealing with. All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and uh, I've disassembled this wench uh, just to save time. Uh, anyway, you guys don't want to see me struggling through this, but... Um, it's relatively really easy to take this winch apart. So what I've done is uh, everything here on the right hand side, I've removed the gearbox. So you had uh, two Torx screws here, uh, basically allows you to separate the electric motor, the drum and the gearbox assembly. Uh, once that happens, this slides apart. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys what I found and uh, we'll actually go ahead and disassemble all the gears and kind of show you guys uh, what's going on. So we'll go ahead here, we'll separate it. So uh, you can see there's the uh, o-ring here um, making a, uh, a seal um, not too much to say around there we have a little bit of grease um, that's gone through that's pretty dried up so that's gonna have to get cleaned up um, you know aside from that doesn't look too bad so put this aside we'll take the drum off the drum on this unit is in good condition um, I will eventually, uh, hopefully take that 3,500 apart for you guys. One of the problems we're having is right here in the edge, the drum actually splits open and opens up and uh, winds up jamming. And that is the biggest downfall of these worn wenches. 
Um, usually that is the number one failure for all of us. This mostly happens on the 1000 XMR. Um, I don't know if it's because it's extra weight of it, but I usually see them always split and open up here and, and some of them will break right off. Um, but this is a cast aluminum drum. Uh, my recommendation, someone asked me, my personal recommendation when they want to go out and buy a new wench, maybe buy a replacement wench for this worn, it's always going to be a super wench. They come with steel drums and you won't run into that problem that you have with these uh, cast aluminum drums. So I'm hoping that, you know, maybe Warren will change this in the future. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Can-Am actually now has uh, super wenches in all their bikes. So this could be a big reason, maybe too many warranty issues. Um, <laughs> I say warranty issues, but uh, anytime you ever get a warranty issue on a, on a wench, forget about it. They're not going to warranty it because you obviously did something wrong. Uh, that's just the wench game. So, uh, all right. So here's another seal. Uh, of course, this is sealing the drum side uh, against the gearbox. Uh, I can tell you right now, I've taken this apart. Water, not only water got in here, I saw a little bit of gravel and sand and debris get through here. So uh, these seals obviously aren't really doing a great job. Um, I do know on one of our team members, um, he's taken apart his super wedge and he said after one year of doing the same bragging that we did, the gearbox was clean, just grease in it. So that kind of tells you something about the sealing system on these. Um, there's two more torque screws here, uh, down here, move this plate. And now we can go about actually disassembling this. So top plate pulls off here. And what we'll do is what I like to do is, you know, you kind of always want to do this in order. It came apart. And this way you kind of know how things go back together. So, you know, you know, we'll put the motor, we'll put this seal, go ahead and Put the follower here, put the seal here, this here. And it just helps, you know. Um, some people have really great memories, but if you don't, this is something that you want to do. All right, so we'll go ahead, we'll pull it out. I've got gloves on. I normally do this with my bare hands. And uh, you know what? Maybe that's what I will do. It's kind of hard to get out. There we go. So I'll show you guys here. Um, this is not only grease, but uh, it, it's also got some sand in it. Um, when I first took this one apart, uh, one of these were actually jammed up um, just with debris and sand and whatnot. You can see it's starting to rust a little bit. It's definitely got water in it. Um, so we'll put this here. Now we'll go ahead and we'll pull the second one out. Um, not too bad. Still a lot of water going in here. Um, still a lot of grease in it, so it's good. Nothing's broke, nothing's chipped. Um, so the gearbox is in pretty good shape. We'll go ahead and pull that outside ring out. That sits in here. And then, as you can see, we'll pull the last gear out. Watch for the, um, watch for the small center gear. Uh, that tends to um, fall out. So once again, um, looks pretty good as long as you can feel it's kind of gritty, um, you know, uh, sand in it. Still rolls pretty good, uh, no problems there. So um, this looks good. And now you just got the little center part in here, which is for the cam. That one just pops out. So watch that, that'll come out sometimes. So uh, now we're, we're down to the bare assembly. This is where once you get everything out of here, you're gonna to wanna to clean everything all up. And this is almost like a yearly maintenance that you're gonna to wanna to do on your wench, just take your gearbox apart. Get it all cleaned up, get fresh grease, put it all back together, make sure it's working properly. Um, this unit, this particular wench I had a huge problem with was, and everyone had talked to me, said, oh, your, your, your cams are dirty or your cam is dirty. That's why you can't turn this thing the free wench. And I always wonder, well, what the heck is that? Is like two rods sticking in there that move around? What is this? So I went ahead and took this apart. And now I see what they mean when this jams up. So what you'll need is just take a screwdriver here, pop both little, just a little press, presses in and pulls up. Let's go ahead and this pulls. So what you're going to do, I've already done this, but it's just a little, um, little clip. And what you can do is put a small screwdriver in it to lift it up and around and then just kind of turn this a bit 
and you can literally pop the clip right up. I mean, you could use uh, the proper pliers for this, but these are really small. Um, and no one I knew had pliers for, you know, a, a clip this small. So uh, a couple screwdrivers wind up popping up and we got it out. So one ahead and then this pulls up. And now here we go. So now this is what they talk about the cams. Um, so I was having a problem with this unit actually turning. And um, so it should turn like this very easily. As you can see, it's still kind of jamming up. So I haven't cleaned anything. You can see like where all the mud and dirt, sand, everything gets in here. And that's when you have a hard time getting on free spool mode. And what you gotta do is you gotta clean this up. Uh, before I took this apart the first time, you should see all the stuff that fell out of here. It was jammed solid. You could not put this winch on free, uh, free spool. So that was one of the things I wanted to do was to get this. And you can still see it's still really kind of stiff to, to, to get to turn. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you know take spark, get this nice and clean. And it um, doesn't seem like there's anything wrong here. A little bit of wear. So yeah, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up, um, get some fresh grease and uh, reassemble it. It looks like the gearbox side of this thing's good, but the seals suck. Um, water's been getting past the seals. So I don't know, uh, there may be replacement seals that you can buy for this, guaranteed. I haven't looked up Warren's um, parts yet to see if that's possible. It's going to be a spare wench for me, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to get it all cleaned up and uh, get it greased back up. I'll keep it on the shelf as a spare. Not worried. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is uh, I'll go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and take this uh, motor apart. I'd like to see what it looks like inside the motor. Uh, I'm wondering if water or corrosion has gotten inside the motor as well uh, now that I've seen the gearbox. So I uh, hope this helps you guys out with disassembling it and checking it. Um, you know, checking your cam when it jams. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, just take your time. Um, you know, what, what can I say? One thing at a time, just lay it on a, on a bench like this. You know, it's a little makeshift bench I made to, just to do this video. And uh, yeah, so um, hang tight guys. We'll take the electric motor apart and uh, we'll see what that looks like. All right, thanks. All right, welcome back guys. So with the uh, power of video editing, we've went ahead and removed the uh, four torque screws that hold the motor case down. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this apart. It's pretty tough to pull apart. Motor is pretty strong. And great news. So I look inside here, it is completely dry. It does not look like we got any sort of water in there or contamination at all. Uh, looks like the seal did its job on the motor side, which is great. Uh, really happy to see. Just a small little seal here that actually seals it around the casing. So um, I think we're gonna be good motor wise on this. Uh, once we get the gearbox cleaned up and taken care of, uh, I'm gonna clean the terminals all up. Uh, aside from that though, uh, looks good. Looks like I, I may have a spare. We'll see how it is once I get it all cleaned up and uh, test it. See if it's a, a good working winch. Um, when I did take it apart, I had problems with the, uh, the free spool and I might have had some problems maybe with the gearbox, but I did notice one gear was jamming up with like small rocks in it. So that might have been my issue. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope this helps you guys out with as far as disassembling a worn winch, uh, doing your routine checks yearly. Is this something that you want to do once a year? Take it all apart, clean it up, make sure it's good for your following year. It's nothing worse than having a winch break on the trail or, uh, you know, having winch problems, especially if you ride by yourself. We're pretty lucky with our group. We've got a lot of people that we ride with, but uh, yeah. So uh, we'll take apart the 3500 and uh, we'll see what that broken uh, drum looks like. Thanks guys. All right guys, so welcome back. Um, so once again, power video editing, we've got this 3500 torn apart and here's the drum. And it's just as we suspected. What I'll do is I'll bring this in closer so I can actually show you guys um, how this actually looks. So hopefully we can see it on the camera, but I've cleaned this up and you can see where um, basically it's cracked right about here and it goes all the way along. Sorry, I'm just trying to get you guys the best camera angle here. It almost goes three quarters of the way around and it stops right about here. Um, you guys can kind of see how it's, it's all cracked and it winds up opening up and uh, jamming against the wench. So um, yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you guys because this is generally what happens on most of the winches that I've seen fail. And I've seen many fail on the 1000 XMR. Uh, majority of our group rides, uh, you know, the 15, 16 and 17 1000 XMRs. And that's usually where I see these broke. And uh, it's always the same thing. I've seen them where they've completely ripped apart, where they've completely shattered. 
Uh, I've seen them where they've opened up like this and just broke. Uh, matter of fact, one of this is, comes off uh, Brad's bike, his uh, Manta Green 1000 XMR, and he's went through several of these. Uh, you know, same riding conditions as everyone else, um, just have not been lucky with these wenches, uh, and so have many others. So a lot of us are switching over to the super wenches with the steel drum, and uh, this is solving, you know, the majority of our problems. Um, aside from that, what you may get into is maybe getting water into a wench causes some issues, but uh, the big no-no is these cast aluminum drums, um, you know, as you can see. Not a lot of miles on this one. Uh, I think you got half a season out of this wench and uh, you know the same riding conditions that the rest of us are in so i uh, hope this video helps you guys um you know just want to break down some of the pros and cons of these worn wenches and also disassembly and cleanup and uh, you know if you guys got any questions comments or suggestions future videos that you want to see uh definitely throw it up in the comments let me know what you think and uh, once again thanks for subscribing guys uh thanks for watching the video hitting that like button and uh, you know appreciate all the uh support and help uh that the community gives all right. Thanks, guys. Take care.